In this video, I'm gonna introduce you with the button composable in Jitbag Compose and I'm gonna show you the different buttons we have in Jitbag Compose. So now let's start by creating a simple button. By the way, I have a box and I have this content alignment center to center our button in the middle. So now let's create a button composable and inside this only click we can do anything we want. So for example, we can call a function from our view model and do something like this but we don't have this view model of course in my case i will just delete this and keep this only click lambda function empty now let's describe our button inside here so we can just show a text in that button and say click me now let's see that and as you can see here is the button now let's add a modifier to change the size let's add height of 50 db and width of 140 and as you can see it got bigger now we can also change the shape so let me show you how to do that and by default the shape of the material 3 buttons uh, have the circle shape now we can change that here let's say rounded corner shape and let's give the top right or top star to 10 db and the bottom into 10 db and let's see how that's gonna look like and here's the button as you can see we also have the enabled attribute so true means that the button is clickable and false the button is not clickable and the color here will be changed and as you can see the colors got changed when we put this enabled to false and i'm gonna show you how to change the colors in a bit so now what we also have for this button the elevation and to add an elevation to this button we can say uh, button default button elevation and here we can just pass the elevation values we have so default elevation let's pass 20 db and there are other values like the pressed elevation when you press in, in the button you can also change the elevation focused elevation so when you focus on the button hovered elevation and disabled elevation now let's preview our app with this default elevation and as you can see this is the elevation of 20 db if we increase that as you can see spread it more and to change the colors of this button we can use the colors and we can pass button default dot button colors in here we have different attributes we can pass to this function so we have the container color to change the background color of our button and here i'm just going to add my own color like this and there's the content color so the content of this button in this case this text we can change that to green for example now let's see the button after we change the colors and here you go so this is the container color the background color and the green color for our text we have two more attributes for the colors which are the disabled container color so when this button is disabled it will apply the disabled container color instead of the container color let's make this color dot light gray and there is also the disabled content color so we can make this white now let's make this false so we basically disable our button let's launch the app and as you can see it took these values for the disabled case now if we make this true it will take these values and by the way you of course can replace this text by any other composables and as you can see here we have row scope so basically we're inside a row here if we add for example an icon and i'm gonna add an icon that I already have added into my drawable file and let's then add the text and let's say click now you will see that these are gonna be placed beside each other because as you can see this is a row okay now other type of buttons that i want to show you here the text button so basically you can make your text clickable if we say here text and click me as you can see uh, the animation is not visible because the color but uh yeah this one is a clickable and you can get your click callback here the same thing for the text we have icon button so we can say icon and we can add our own icon here let's see our clickable icon now and as you can see this one is clickable now that's it for this video but one more thing i want to show you which is pretty interesting is this application which is called compose material catalog so in here you can find all the material design components we have material design 2 and material design 3 in our case the material design 3 is the latest one and this is the same one we're using in this playlist 
So in here you can find all of these components. We are interested in the buttons. So let's click on that. And here you can see all the buttons we have in Jetpack Compose for the Material Design 3. So we have the simple button here. You can see, you can see a preview for that. The elevated button. I haven't showed you that. So if we go to Android Studio, you can see elevated button. And yeah, so as you can see, uh, this app is pretty cool and I actually use it to determine the different buttons and the different components I should use. Okay, everyone, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you have a great day and catch you in the next video.